Hey everybody, this is Fragger and Jeff here, and we're here to do uh, this is on From Dust. Yeah, man. What do you? I, you've been playing this game for about two days now. What do you think? Uh, it's a very good, like, casual game. Yeah, it's it's really interesting. It kind of, in in some ways, reminds me of Populous a little bit. I would say Populous or front or uh, Black and White. Yeah, yeah, I can see the Black and White uh, as well. Yeah, it's it, the only thing about it is it's not very actiony. It's more of it's actually kind of like Populous mixed with Lemmings. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I could see that too. It's um, it's nice though. It's like it's a refreshing change on Xbox Live to have something. I, that's one of the things I like about uh, Xbox Live Arcade is that mm -hmm. like they do a really good job of giving you varied titles and varied gameplay. Or twin stick shooter. <laughs> yeah, but especially in like the summer of arcade, like right now. Oh, like, yeah. Next, yeah, it's uh, they they do a really good job of picking kind of unique games. And this is definitely unlike any other game on Xbox Live Arcade right now. Yeah, this is probably the closest we've had to like a regular kind of strategy game or an old or like that really weird subset of the God strategy games that we don't have on Xbox Live. Yeah, the God, the God strategy games, because obviously they have Carcassonne and... Uh, and um, uh, the, the Red Alert Catan. 3 one. Yeah, Red Alert 3, yeah. There we go. We've, we've talked enough about the kind of genre it's in. I love <laughs> saying genre. Um, but uh, this is just a fun game. I mean, it's so chill. There's no like almost no dialogue, Just and it's fun. Which yeah. is, I just this is a great game to chill out playing, which I Absolutely. love having those kind of games, and uh, the achievements are pretty like somewhat straightforward, but very ambiguous at the same time. Like if we kind of understand what what with what they're saying, they're straightforward. Yeah, there's a lot of ambiguity across the board. Like if I had one uh, critique of this game, it would be that the uh, instructions are not very clear. Yeah, <laughs> like I went through like three levels not knowing how to use Jellify Water because it wasn't properly explained. And then I, I had to help you at one point, too. Yeah, yeah. How, how, do I, how do I stop the tsunami? That seems to be the common thing I keep saying from a lot of people. Like, uh, <laughs> how do I survive this tsunami? Yeah. Those tsunamis aren't fun. But um, pretty much, uh, you're going to get a lot of the achievements by uh, beating this game, pretty much. It looks right. like there's four story progression ones, which is to use, like, what is it, to activate the breath or something like that? Yes. Which is the first, like, ten gamer score achievement you're going to get. And then, um, yeah, create a breath of the elements, which is exalt, exalt, exalting, exalt. Is that, uh, <laughs> you doing okay? Are you having a stroke? Words are words are very difficult. Do um, you smell copper, or, do, or does your mouth taste like pennies right now? Do you smell? It oranges? does. It does taste like pennies right now. This isn't good. Yeah. Um, but other than that, we're looking at uh, things along the lines of beat um, memory of the tribe, create a sanctuary for the tribe. Those are story based. And um, there's one that's the fire level, the one that I know we're both kind of on at the same time. Yeah. Which is complete the wildfire territory. Yeah. Which, that's that's a difficult level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so far. <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> difficult. And uh, probably what I think might be one of the tougher achievements in the game, which is safe journey, which is to complete the story mode without losing more than five villages. I'm already in trouble there. I've actually not. I've been, like, as soon as I lose a village, I restart. Oh, really? But uh, I had I had trouble on the first lava level, which they're gonna see video for this. Of I kept burning down one of the villages, because I'd be like, I need to reinforce this wall. And I put more lava up there, and the lava would kind of come down and light the village on fire. And I'm like, well, shit. You're like, oh, sorry, Hawaii. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Not again. Yeah, it was a very Joe versus the volcano moment for you. Pretty much, it wasn't good. Um, but other than that, each level you have to. Uh, Pretty much get full vegetation, or 100% vegetation on it, because that's also an achievement. Have you been doing that? Yes. Okay. Um, and that's kind of how I play these kind of games. I'm like, well, I have to do this, might as well do it now. Yeah. But the awesome thing that I've realized about this game is if you beat it, you can hop back into that level, and it's in the state where you beat it. So you can then go for full vegetation or anything else you may have missed. Oh, in really? In that level. So yeah, you can hop in at any time, and it just resumes right where you left it off at. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know that. Yeah, so it's it's it makes it a lot easier, and I, I kind of noticed that too because when I was playing, because I played the trial first, I never got that feeling. Yeah. So I'm like, well, crap, this isn't gonna be fun to do. Then I found out it is like that, so I was like, yay! There is the achievement called Last Breath, which also ties into this kind of weird conversation we had just five seconds ago. Um, yeah. Which is complete all challenges, all territories, the memory of the tribe, and cover each map with vegetation. So it's pretty much the hundred percent the game. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. And that's worth 50 gamer score. Frowny face. Um, <laughs> but each of those little things that it's saying is an achievement in of itself. So you'll get an achievement for doing each of those towards that big achievement. 
But yeah. that's pretty much it, achievement-wise, for this game. I mean, you've also got uproot and replant 100 trees, and use the power of the breath 100 times, and there's one that's absorb a massive amount of lava during the game. What the hell does that mean? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Shrug? Maybe it's something that we're not, we're not going to, that we'll discover later on. I know there's, what, 12 levels in this game, so it's not too long. It's not too long, and you can very easily hop into, like, the first lava level and just go, lava, lava, Yeah, lava, lava, lava the shit out of that place. Yeah, I actually did, and uh, I think there's going to be some footage of me trying different methods of blocking off water, and I flood things constantly. Yeah. I'm like, that's not what I meant to do! <laughs> no! But this is a very, very interesting game, and I definitely recommend at least a try. Yeah, especially if you're looking for something a little different. Yeah, yeah. It is going to be one of those games that you probably will know very quickly if you like it or you don't like it, too. Uh, yeah, totally agree. Yeah. But uh, it's very fun. Uh, give it a try, especially for the Summer of Arcade stuff. Because I think, what is it, you buy all of them and you get Crimson Alliance for free? Uh, I believe that's the case, right? Well, during this promotion, not after this right. time. Right, D- during the Summer of Arcade. During the Summer of Arcade, so you can't like listen to us a year ago, why didn't I get this game for free? <laughs> it's not how it works. No. But uh, <laughs> check it out. Yes. All right, yeah, and be pay very close attention to the instructions because you don't want to be as lost as I was. Oh, yeah, I remember. Using Jellify water makes you Moses. Keep <laughs> that true. in mind. So, see you guys next time. All right, take care.